so this you know uh, just don't take like this uh, like the simplicity of this tool uh, we use this even in the cci labs this is uh, the basic tools but very important to consider to be a very important tool in our networking environment and as a network administrator uh, personally i have been using ping tool all the time all day long i'm using ping so uh, let's talk about a little bit about the ping tool then we will hit the lab it comes under the protocol called icmp uh, because we are going to uh, check the reachability of this icmp protocol the ping is a command prompt utility used to test the ability of the source computer to reach the destination so let's suppose we have two computers connected with each other with any mode i have no idea whether it's switch router whatever and they have some kind of ip addresses i want to see whether this computer this one is alive or not this computer is there on my network or not this could be the pc this could be my server this could be even my access point because all devices has some kind of identification which is ip so with the help of ping tool i am just going to hit this device with a ping tool and this device is going to give me a reply back saying that i am alive so this is how instead of going to that computer that is maybe some far away in a floor 2 and you are in a floor 1 instead of i will go into the computer and i will see everything is working fine in that computer uh, this computer is on or not i just try to ping that computer directly from my floor 1 and if i receive the reachability is mean that computer is alive it has some options available we will discuss a lot in detail in this uh, uh, demo and we will talk when we will hit these options uh, let's go to the uh, demo and then we will talk about these error messages as well then this will make sense so i hope everybody is familiar with the uh, the command prompt what is it yes it is it is pre installed in uh, your uh, windows machines and even in the linux as well um in the linux we sometimes call it shell or con the console uh and in windows environment we call it a command prompt if you type on your search bar and type uh, command prompt or just type cmd you will find this black console kind of application just click on that okay so um first of all i give you the scenario i have uh, my device which is connected on ip 192.168.100.3 then for this demo i am using my access point or the modem which is connected at 192.168.100.1 so let's try pinging my access point first of all so i want to see end to end reachability type ping then the ip address of the device which is in question which is my access point so type 192.168.100 Hundred dot one, which is the address of my access point, and click. As you can see, we it will generate uh, one, two, three, four replies, basically saying your access point is alive, and it is giving me reply. So I have reachability end to end with the access point. In the same fashion, if you have hundred devices attached in your lo local area. network and you want to see the reachability you can just do pinging all these devices one by one one two three four to check the connectivity then 
if I want to go a lot in detail, what else ping can do? Just type ping, then hyphen or minus with a question mark and hit enter. It is going to show me another option. What else I can do with this ping command? As it is mentioned minus T, let's see what it does. So I am not going to go all, a lot in detail about this, all everything, what is it is doing, but just the important options that we most often use in our working environment. Like minus T, if I ping the same my access point device with the help of option minus T and type 192.168.100.1 and hit enter. Before my reply stopped at the fourth point, but now as you can see, it is on and on and on. It is just keep pinging that device. Why we need this minus T option? Because we want to keep, because this is giving me a reply, but sometimes it happens, some device is not, not giving me reply. If it is not giving a reply, it will be like this. Let's suppose we have 55. Now you can see the reply from this uh, device saying destination host unreachable. So it means this is unreachable. Now with the help of minus T, I kept my uh, this ping uh, on continue. So, you know, so I just kept continue my ping. So why? Because then I will go to the another device, which is not giving me reply. I will try to find the solution and as soon as I will start to see the replies coming from that device, it means it is uh, uh, there is end-to-end uh, -end connectivity. So that's why we keep minus the options that will just keep pinging that device all the time. Then we have some other options. Type minus and question mark. Then we have minus a resolve address to host name. First of all, I try to ping my own computer, which is on 192.168.100.3. So it is give me, giving me a very simple reply. And I, I'm totally blind at this time. I have no idea this reply is coming from which device. What is the name of device? Because we know these devices by name. So minus A option, basically going to give me the information about the PC as well. So the name of my computer is cyber PC. So just by looking at this uh, name, I will know that, okay, this computer, this belongs to this. So you can have like in a real production environment, let's suppose you have four or five servers uh, in your uh, IT closet. And then you can ping those devices, but you have no idea what that server is for. Let's suppose one server is running uh, your hotel management application. Another server is running a SQL ser server. Another one is running, let's suppose, uh, uh, your finance application. So with, because you have given some kind of name to this, I'm sure. Okay, let's go uh, some other options. Yes. Um, then what else? Uh, this is the number of uh, things we can send, for example, uh, I want to send just one ping just for some purpose. Oh, sorry. Uh, you have to mention how many pings you want to send after minus N. As you can see, it just send one ping. Okay. So there could be some reason, valid reason, uh, uh, the purpose that we want to send only one ping. So this thing can so come on, can we use can we use this uh, specific one for less a cabling issue? I know that sometimes there's a cable issue and we, we want to run the command for a long time to see if the cable is fully working. Is this the command that you would prefer as a network engineer to use or the other ones? Exactly. This uh, ping minus N, um, you know, there is no any specific reason using minus N. But the one that is most being used is minus T. It will kept pinging 
and we can see like you know if i'll show the my internet connectivity right now if i try to ping minus t with the help of 4.2.2.2 so basically it kept on pinging and i can correlate with my ttl and times if there is any kind of delay i can see here can can you explain to us or for hyphen and crystal how how does how do you de determine these ms what does this gives us us any information if it okay. says ms this much or ttl this yeah, much how yeah. would you so i will not touch this ttl part because we are going to cover next okay so we will be specific to this time these are the time slots basically is trying trying to hit this device in this millisecond it means my first packet went in 147 millisecond it hit that server and returned back again 147 147 it means my internet connectivity is so stable but as you can realize here hit something happened it hit 140 58 millisecond it means some kind of application which is running in my background maybe it is taking some kind of data so this is one a very good method you know to identify your internet connectivity as well sometime you will find that reply is coming then there is no reply refresh time out reply again coming then again request time out reply is coming again request time out so this is a very pure identification that there is going something happening in your uh uh with the either access point or with the cabling or with the network interface card so this kind of troubleshooting you can do with the help of this ping minus t command clear thank you yes sir okay that's great then we have some another options these i'm not going to tell these are so advanced uh uh then this is also very informative which is saying source address to use okay uh i think i have removed that uh, so we have this uh a simple topology where we have a server and we have a host machine and i am trying to send a ping but you have multiple interface cards connected to this host machine like in my case i have one wireless lan i have one for lan i have one for vmware one for virtual machine for virtual machine 2 so what if i want to ping this server not using my default lan interface card but from my wireless lan then this thing will help us minus s which is basically telling me from which source you are gonna ping so let's do this example here live uh let's suppose if i go to ip config slash all to see all of my ips and let's pick uh, the ip let's this one 192.168.42.1 and if i want to ping i will type minus s with uh this uh, as a source which is uh Yes, this one, and I will try to ping my access point. So this is going to be my source, and this is going to be my destination. But if you notice earlier, I was trying to ping uh, from the same subnet, 
from my uh, LAN device, basically at the LAN network interface card. But this time I'm trying to uh, sourcing from the v VM machine. But th there is kind of some, uh, let's say, some uh, requirement that I want my VM where to access my access point. So you can use minus S option with the help of this um, VM net IP address to ping this uh, access point. So let's try pinging. Does it work or not? As you can see, transmit failed because uh, um, my router does not have any information about this one. But if I will do the same thing with the same subnet, Oh, sorry. And and the IP of my device is 100.3. This time I try to ping, you can see the reply is coming because my whole uh, access point has information about this subnet. So I am changing the source. Before we had VMware, and you can clearly see uh, the difference between these two IPs. So I am sourcing from different location basically. If I try to go some other option, and I'm not gonna go uh, do the demo for this one. If you have uh, IPv4, this is by default, we will type minus four. And in case of IP6, what if I want to ping IPv6 addresses? You can use like my ping minus six, and then this uh, very long IPv6 address, something like this and then you can pay this address. Okay, so the demo for your paying section ends here. If you have any question, you may ask. Hello? No, we're good. Okay. I'm not getting any replies, so that's why I'm concerned that everyone is there or no. No, no, we're or I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, that's fine. When you don't hear a reply like that, you can move on then. Okay, that's fine. Well, sometimes it happens that there is internet connect connection issues. Maybe uh, I'm connected, but you are not. So that's why, you know, I just want some echo from you. Okay, so the ping has, uh, we have done. Okay, so. Uh, and again, this, the, I think for you guys, you, you should, after this, you know, try to ping your own home network, try to understand, because you have such a good example right there. You have so many devices, you have a router at your home, because you're going to have to start with extreme basics like that to understand your, even your home network, that level of ping, a ping, JSS website, try to ping it for a long time, try to understand what's like, you know, the time, things like that. And after this, you should be doing your own research to do a lot on ping side because it's great to get started like this. But again, you're always gonna be as a network engineer, you're gonna be using the same concept, even in routing, even in switching, you have to do ping uh, other devices for, for you to do your work. You will have to do that from their devices as well. But that's where I think you guys should start with extreme basics, move up to, your home network. And then after that, when you start the packet tracers and all that kind of stuff and your labs, you should be then using, uh, you know, same same method, same concepts in those type of devices as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we come across some another uh, error messages you need to understand. One is destination host unreachable versus request time now. So most often you come across these errors so, so you must have an idea what what is the different difference between these two host unreachable basically when we are on the same network let's suppose in my case we are running 192.168.100.x x means whatever the host may identification number you can do for one, two, three, 
all the way up to 254 you can assign so if i'm trying to ping uh, some ip within this subnet i'm going to receive host unreachable it means we are on the same subnet but maybe this computer is maybe dead uh, maybe shut down or maybe there is cable issue network interface card issue okay so you are going to receive unreachable request timeout when you are not, not on the same subnet and this subnet does not exist in this domain these kind of errors you're gonna receive and we will discuss you know you don't need to worry about this we will go a lot in detail when we'll in a router and switches we will be pinging you will see several kind of errors there and these just i am giving you i um, just uh fly by overview the difference between these two then this packet loss uh, it gives to gives you the information how many packets have been lost like in this case you can see two packets lost it means there is kind of some issue in your lan environment if you are pinging lan environment if you are pinging your device that is in the your same lan environment then i'm sure this is a problem with your cable either with a cable with your network interface card or there's some kind of loops happening in your local area network similarly if you are trying to ping uh, the google that is not in your domain if you receive this kind of errors like as i said earlier reply is coming then there is request timeout then reply is coming request timeout it means you have some kind of serious internet connectivity is going on in your uh, uh your uh, working environment 